Okay, welcome back to Dark Souls 2, the ultimate sorcerer's guide. Now, I'm here in Belfry Soul because after a lot of work invading people... Actually, you know what? Just gonna check if I don't have the stupid ring on. Okay, good. I finally have hidden weapon. Like I said, it took a long time, but it's finally here. You know what? Let's go back to Majula and show it off. I have 82,000 souls, which is quite a lot. Obviously, I never meant to farm this much during this playthrough. It was kind of an unintentional effect of... Well, basically, farming for this, I did a little bit of uh, killing the Mad Warrior, which also counts as um, ranking up in the Covenant. And I also did, of course, some PvP. I finally got into a good streak where I was getting invasions relatively quickly, so I was happy about that. But yeah... I have 82,000 souls, I'm gonna use it to level up, but first, let's demonstrate hidden weapon. Which is pretty much just what the description says, it hides your weapon. I guess it can be useful for catching an enemy off guard, mainly useful in PvP I would say, cause your opponent wouldn't actually know what weapon you are using, but the main problem with it, oh what the hell. Oh yeah, I knew that would happen. The problem is that, of course, you cannot enchant your weapon or anything if you apply hidden weapon. But yeah, this is it. People like to use these kind of spells um, with like really large weapons, like great hammer or great sword, to really catch people off guard. But with a rapier, it's really not as useful. What else? I haven't shown off repair yet, but... Just to demonstrate, this is what it looks like. Yeah, it looks cool. Gonna be using it eventually, just like Cast Light and Fall Control. It's only useful in a couple of specific areas. But yeah, I'm really happy I finally got Hidden Weapon. It is a lot of work for a spell that's not really the best. But yeah, let's move. Oh shit, I didn't spend my souls. Ah oh, well, you know what? It shouldn't matter. Uh, you know what? I think I do have to come back, don't I? I just hate waiting for the fucking load time. I knew I was forgetting something. God damn it. This is gonna waste like quite a bit. But yeah, like I said, never intended to farm this many souls. Kind of just happened. The Mad Warrior is actually pretty easy to farm for if you just want to level up in the Covenant. If you want his set, it's gonna take a lot of work, I've heard. It's pretty cool because he has that armor set that looks like the Predator. But basically, the way I did it, he only spawns rarely. But people figured out, and I don't know how people figured this out. Um, apparently, the PlayStation makes like a special noise when the Mad Warrior spawns. The laser that reads the disc makes like a special noise. And that's what people use or use to tell if the Mad Warrior has spawned or not. I don't really need strength anymore. I uh, got vitality. You know what? We'll go for... Hmm. Just gonna go for int. Just gonna focus on int. Okay. Time to move on. Finally, to Drang Lake Castle after like wasting four minutes. Sorry about that. It would have been quicker if I actually remembered that I needed to level up. Ah, well gonna turn back into human form here cause there is an NPC rat phantom that invades and I don't know I just like being human I died because I got careless and uh, got killed by the black phantoms in um, Belfry Soul but it doesn't matter too much okay I think I got my spells in order let's get going are gonna be picking up a new spell in this episode and you know what I might just have a look inside some of these rooms I didn't explore these the first time around okay gotta be careful oh did all four of them spawn shit that's not good okay yeah okay gonna heal up this is Fuck. Why the hell? Ah, uh, come on. I hate when this happens. 
All right. That just wasted the fucking humanity. I'm kind of, I'm more pissed about that than actually dying. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna be human through this. I don't care. But yeah, you need to be careful with these guys because their attacks are fucking instant. Just kind of ridiculous when you think about it. But that happens in this game sometimes. That's one of the few things that I don't like about the combat in this game. How sometimes I should have worn the Ring of Life life protection. Whatever. Hmm. Guess we'll just go Ring of Blades. Nothing better. Pick up my like zero souls. It's a good thing these guys apparently stay dead. Okay. Stun locking them is not an option, it seems like. The problem is I wanna keep them near the door because. Come on, switch your shield. Good. I wanna keep them near the door because obviously I want to unlock it. Get out! Fuck! Fuck these guys. Alright, we're leaving this area. God damn. Were these guys really this difficult on my first run too? I don't ever remember these things killing me. Maybe I'm getting careless. I don't care, I still have 8 human effigies. I'm gonna do this human, I don't care. It just makes me all the more determined. Okay. I should use my the Leo ring to my advantage a bit more. Oh yeah, these ones respawn and the other ones don't. Fuck you. You know what? I'm gonna see if this works. There is like ruined sentinels in here and all that shit. Okay, that worked. Oh, switch back to my rapier. Just leave it like that. Stun locking these guys is like impossible too. Is there a sentinel in here? Yes, there is. Would like actually, you know what? Let's get in here and let's get in here and completely fail my roll. Okay, good. These ones are a fair bit stronger than the ones in the um, Lost Bastion, obviously. Plus, we have a lot less space to dodge them. Don't go outside, because then it's going to activate all the statues around. Not even sure if it's worth doing this. Good, that actually hit him. Okay, one sentinel down. They These are the ones that can drop their set, their armor set. So if you want that. Oh, Mastodon Greatsword. I knew there was something in here. One of these rooms actually leads to Grandol, I think. Good. Watch out. I wonder if that's gonna... Okay, good. Backstab. Good. I'm gonna see what's behind this one. I haven't ever explored these rooms fully, which I'm kind of bummed about. Just never got around to it, really. And we have a Llewellyn shield, or whatever it's called. Okay, we can lure this one out. That shouldn't matter too much. Oh, yeah. Didn't mean to do soul vortex, but guess that worked out. The spells actually do a fair bit of more damage than my um, rapier. Yeah, that was that was no way I was gonna avoid that. Come on, you bastard! But these guys with the spears, one of the worst enemies in the game, because I don't know, it's something about and I heard other people complain about this too how their attacks are like instant so there's no way to avoid them unless you're blocking there's not not avoid them there's no time to react to them royal soldier ring plus one all right whatever 
Let's get the fuck out of here. I've wasted enough time and humanity is just dying. God damn. I wasted like three of them here. Dark arrows. Not really... I don't think there are too many like really useful treasures around, around here. But you know, I'll pick them up. Okay, let's get up here and this should be... Oh, wait, this isn't the room yet. Fuck, I just got hit. Ah, should have brought repair. There's my lesson learned. Ah, well. Thing is, I don't even need soul vortex that much because it's not the best spell around. But, you know, whatever, it's too late now. Cyan Knight. Not what I meant to do. Not getting hit. Alright, let's... It's funny how they can actually attack from behind their shield. Oh shit. Forgot, this is not a good room to be in. Luckily, the third one is happy to just stand there and... Oh, well, goodbye. I think he only fell into the acid there. Good. Three. Watch out. Oh, that nearly got me. I don't think it could kill me, though, so... It doesn't matter too much. Damn, these guys like to turtle. Gotta watch out not to get near the statue. That statue is gonna curse me in like three seconds. I completely missed this statue the first time. I didn't know it can actually curse you. It's kind of just interesting. A hint that the Queen of Dranglaic is evil. Kind of an obvious hint, but you know. There you go. Nameless Usurper. Pretty easy kill. But still, gotta watch out. Wow, really easy kill. She has like no poise. It's Lysia, if anyone doesn't know. I don't think that's really a spoiler at this point. Okay, get this. And if we... Well, we're gonna go down in a bit. Because there's actually a ladder here. I completely missed this the first time around. But if we go down here... And I think it's beyond... Yep, there it is. There's actually a bonfire here. Didn't even know this existed. Now, I'm just trying to remember. Have I... Did I miss Soul Greatsword already? Wait a second. No, no, I haven't, have I? Just trying to think of where exactly it is. What's down there? I don't think there's anything useful down there. Yeah, Soul Greatsword is after the Twin Dragon Riders, I think. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right after. Alright, good. Taking care of everything here. This is pretty easy. This section. Here's the statue of the Queen. Oh, not statue, or it's more like an illusion, I think. Really creepy, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just keeps talking. I think she says different things when you come back to her at different points in the game. We, no we, we have no need for two rulers. Obviously, anyone who's played the game know knows that she's evil. No spoilers there. Let's take out these dragon riders. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. That bonfire does help a lot, because you have a lot less to backtrack if you do end up getting killed by these guys, which, you know, might happen. They have killed me before. Even though these bosses are easy, sometimes, you know, things happen. I'd like to take out Mr. Crossbow here. Actually, that's a normal bow, not a crossbow. Holy shit, that is a lot of damage. Nearly managed to avoid getting hit there. Nearly, being the keyword. Okay, you're dead. Wonder how much a soul spear does. Yeah, I gotta remember that my... Um, 
iframes are not the highest. And bam, 627. And that's is, this is the stronger Dragon Rider. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to block there. Kind of got locked in. Whatever. Okay, not gonna use Soul Vortex. That's a bad idea. Still, that does decent damage. Even like normal Great Soul Arrow. It's a pretty basic spell, and it does good damage. Okay, let's finish this off. You're dead. Thank you. For the souls. And the Dragon Rider soul, which I have no need for. Hey, Banhart. Gonna talk to Banhart in a little bit. Might just go ahead and go around. I'll pick up Soul Greatsword. And then... I'll come back and talk to him. Okay, we will have to eventually go up there and pick up the key. But first, this is... I've heard that this is a pretty useful spell. I'm interested in getting this. This is one of the few sorceries in the game that are really like different to anything else. Shut because these guys are gonna come to life. All three of them. Okay, this might end up killing me. Hopefully not, but... Oh, you know what? I might actually want to check out that Lavalin shield that I got. It could be something that's pretty good for my character. I'm looking for the lighter shields anyways. Although this Varangian thing is working out pretty well. It's pretty much exactly what I wanted for a shield in this character. Kind of light, doesn't provide much defense, but it works. Holy shit. These guys can drop tight nice slabs. I knew that the ones with the horse mask can, but these ones? Oh, it's actually a lot better. Holy shit, it's better in every way. And it looks cool too. Yep, I'm taking it. Okay, let's see this thing. I think it's in this one. No, this is an old night hammer, and this is it. Kate's chime and soul great sword. I kind of passed through that quickly, but it's there. I'm gonna equip it. Um, unfortunately, I cannot equip it until I get back to the bonfire, which is annoying. Oh. God damn it, not gonna kill me. I would like to activate this actually. So let's lure your friend here. I don't e even remember what this one does. But it's something. Well, obviously it's something. Let's finish off the last two. Okay, that just. Those last few attacks completely whiffed. And bam. I really want to show off a Soul Spear's like, piercing ability, but I've not managed to pull it off just yet on any enemies. Ah well. They're dead. I wonder if I should... I almost think I should warp back and equip Soul Greatsword. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Because I, re I really want to see what this spell is like. Like I said, they actually didn't change the sorceries around too much. Before the game's release, they were talking about doing things like um, having two firing methods for each spell. Like I remember uh, Soul Greatsword was like an alternate way to fire your spell um, when they first showed off the game. That would have been a cool idea. It's a shame that they showed off a lo lot of cool ideas that they never got around to doing. But that's kind of the... Same deal with every game. Okay, it has three castings. Let's read the description. I don't know if you can access the description. Yeah, yeah, you can. 
A sorcery that attacks foes using a sword made of souls. Energy is focused in a single point and wielded as a sword with both hands. Use of this sorcery is not too dissimilar to swordplay and so inherently endangers the caster. Let's see. Use it somewhere where I'm not gonna attack Banhart. Thing down here should be fine. You need space for this thing too. Yep. Really cool. You see this quite a bit with PvP uh, users. A lot of people like this spell. Only has three castings, but I think I'm liking it. Should I end the episode here? This is kind of a short one. I got through the castle fairly quickly. But yeah, I'm going to end it here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls, even with the little frustration at the start with the knights. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.